everyone and welcome to my channel. I'm Claudia. So today what I wanted to do was I wanted to do a really quick video on just how I pack for a vacation. I have these really cute packing cubes, which is really the highlight of this video. Of course, you know, the designer stuff is nice. I will share with you what type of things I pack when I go on vacation. So this next trip that I'm going on is we're going to Aruba. So it's a very sticky, wet, humid like environment. And I'm very selective on what I take with me because of the weather, I don't want any of my stuff getting damaged. So I'm gonna share a little bit of some tips just like what I do when I travel and what type of things I take. But the big highlight again, are it's gonna be really these, these like packing cubes, which I think are incredible. I will add a description and I'll add it in the description so that you know what they are. So in case you're looking for them, they are incredible. So I'm gonna go ahead and just get started. Um, I wanna show you these packing cubes because that really, again, is the highlight of what I'm doing here today. I already have my bag packed because I'm actually leaving tomorrow <laughs> and I wanted to get this video out to you guys so you guys can see what I typically pack. So I'm gonna go ahead and stand up and I'm just gonna start showing you some of the things that I do. And so you might not be able to see my face, which I'm sure you're okay with. <laughs> so just give me a second. I'm gonna go ahead and just adjust the camera. All right, so, okay, so hopefully you could see everything. So I wanna show you what I have. So this bag here is what I use for the beach. So some people may go out and use like a very expensive, you know, Christian Dior bag or a, you know, depending on Louis Vuitton, Nerful, I'm not gonna use my Nerful by the pool because I don't wanna baby it. That's just my preference. So I wanna show you this bag. This has become like my beach bag or my pool bag, but it's a fairly large bag. And it is super easy to fold, as you guys just noticed. I literally have this. I'll just fold these in like this and look at this, it's like flat. And this is a perfect bag. I actually bought this at the Burberry outlet and it was pretty cheap. And quite honestly, I've used this on the beach more than once already. And I actually took it to Aruba the last time I went. And if you look at it, it looks brand new still, like no issues. And it was literally on the sand. I had it on the, t on the chair. I mean, it went everywhere with me and it looks incredible. So for me, it's cute. I mean, the bag says Burberry on it, but it's from the outlet and I really don't care. I think it's a great bag for the beach and I don't have to baby it. I'm all about not babying my stuff, fishing when I'm on vacation. So I want to show you that. I'm going to put that on the side. So these are the packing cubes that I want to show. I've got some stuff here, but I'll show you guys that in a moment, what I'm taking with me. So let me show you these packing cubes. So... The set comes with four. So it comes with four packing cubes. One is this massive one, which fits almost like half on one. And again, let me highlight, this is a carry-on carry as well. I never check in bags. I have actually, I traveled to Italy not too long ago for 10 days and I still, I worked out of a carry-on. I carry, I like to do the carry-ons. I don't like to check in bags and I don't like to lug those around. So I have this larger cube here, which I'm gonna put down because I'm going to show you what each of them can fit. Here's another cube. And I actually had my name put on. Now, I mean, you don't have to go that extreme, but I did that. <laughs> and then it comes with this small one here and this other one. So it comes with these two small ones, comes with this medium size one. So two small, these two, medium, and then the super large one, which is this one. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to just take some of my stuff out of here, even though I already had everything packed. I really think it's important for you guys to see what can fit in here. So I'm gonna just gonna take a couple things out here. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you, hopefully you guys can see most of this. So these are the packing cubes that I have. So this is the big one, right? Well, I wanna show you something because I think this is incredible. So I'm gonna unzip it and I'm gonna show you I'm gonna actually not gonna go through every single item in here, but I do want to show you what's in here. So I have a lot of stuff in here. I have one, two, three. I have three dresses that are folded, three little cute like knee length, knee high, I'd say like to your knee, knee like uh dresses. I've got one, two, three, four. I have four shirts. I have one, two three skirts, and I have two jean shorts, and there's more. And I have two more dresses, one, two, and I have two pajama sets at the bottom. You can see them here, one's like a burgundy and one's a pink. So all this stuff fit in here. So let's go through it again. Two pajama sets, these two dresses, two jean shorts, 
three skirts, four shirts, and three more dresses. And you can see how big and how high this pile is. But it's interesting. It's actually kind of fascinating because when I first got them, I wasn't really sure that much, a lot would fit in here. But look how amazing this is. I usually will zip up the sides first. And look, this is what you end up with, right? And look at that. Like, unbelievable, right? It's a lot. So now what I do is I'll put that on one side of my carry-on. And if it's really, really perfect on one side. Now this one here, this medium one, because I'm going to Aruba, I have to take some bikinis and some bathing suits. So I want to show you how much fits in here. I have one, two, three. So I have three cover-ups. These are my three cover-ups for my trip. And then as far as bathing suits, I have one, one bikini set, two bikini sets, three bikini sets, four, five. So I have five bikinis. And this, that's top and bottom, and three cover-ups. So three cover-ups and five bikinis. So now this, I, when I first started to put this in, I thought, there's no way this is even going to zip up. But I'll do the same thing. I zip up the side first. I start from the sides. And the nice thing is that the zippers actually zip from the back forward. So you're able to zip the sides first to try to really, like, shove everything in there. So now this is kind of what you get when you zip the sides. See, so now you've got like that open area. So what I do is I just kind of push everything in and start to like slowly zip it because I don't want to zip one of these thin cover-ups. Oops. So now look. So that's pretty amazing. Five bikini sets and three cover-ups and they all fit in here. And that goes in here. And now I've got these two other ones. One, I'm actually, let me see if I can zip it. So this one here has, oh, this one's actually funny. So this one has a pair of running shorts. Actually, two pairs of running, here, I'm gonna show you. Two pairs of running shorts, a t-shirt, and two workout tank tops. So three shirts and two shorts in this little little small one. And this is more like my workout clothes that I because I plan on working out while I'm there. So I do have a couple of shorts and a couple of shirts to work out in. But you can see they fit right in here. Which is pretty amazing, I think. So now that'll go back in there. I have one more. So in here, this is where I actually have like the stuff that I'm not going to show you, like your bras and your underwear and things like that. But I have quite a few pairs of underwear, of course, for a whole week, for five or six days, a few bras. and But it's unbelievable how it can just all fit in here. Look at that. And this one's not even full. Like, I could have put a lot more stuff in here, but I really didn't need to. But I want to show you how they're how these are structured and how they're made to fit in your carry-on carry carry uh, luggage. So let me just show you. I'm going to try to stand it up. I'm going to take some of my other stuff out, which I'll show you in a minute what I packed. So now you can see here's the large one, the medium, and the two small ones. Look how perfectly, how perfect they fit there. Super, super nice. And just so that you know, there's still more space in here. So I still have some space. I can put some shirts, my actual bags, like whatever bags I'm taking on, on my trip, I'll put those on this side. So I want to show you that. So this is one of my favorite bags that I take on a trip because it's, it's for me, it's like low maintenance. This is the Felici, the Monogram Imprinté. It's super cute. And what I tend to do is if I'm taking any additional straps, I put them inside the bag to kind of save space. So for this one, I'm taking this one, which is a completely different strap. I have it on my on one of my videos too. And I was able to snag this other one. And I have the small little chain one that it actually comes with. So that's all like in there as well. And for me, this is an easy bag to, to travel with because I can carry it. I can do it more as like a clutch. And I could also do cross body or even shoulder if I don't want to carry. So that's one of the bags. And again, look, it fits perfectly. We're still on this side. Now this one over here, this is actually not a Louis Vuitton bag that I'm taking because I am going to be traveling with the toiletry and the chain. And I don't want to take too many bags with me either. So I actually found this bag 
This is a Burberry. It's a very basic bag. But for me, this is super low maintenance. We're doing like a catamaran sunset cruise. And I, you know, there's salt water hitting your face and all this. I'm like, if I want to take a bag, I'm taking this one. I paid like a hundred bucks at, at the outlet. It was on, on sale. It wasn't even that expensive. Well, it was expensive, but it wasn't as expensive as, as a designer like Louis Vuitton. So I'm taking this one with me as just like the bag that I can wear around if I don't want a baby and I don't want to deal with it getting dirty and messed up. I can take this one. So this is the one I'm actually going to take. And it's not a bad bag because you can see it's got the little chain here. And, and it also does feel a lot. And it actually has a built-in card holder. So this is a perfect one for me for the travel. So I'm going to show you that. I'm going to put that. And again, I try to take thinner bags so that they can fit inside your, your, your travel. So now here, I could put that on this side. And look how perfect that fits. So I've got all that clothes. So all of my clothes for the entire vacation and two bags are all in here and they fit perfectly. And I can throw my Burberry, the Burberry bag that I also want to take with me, put that right there and it fits as well. I can zip it. And look at that. It's perfect. And I still have this whole other side that I can, with, with stuff that I can travel, which I think is awesome. So I do want to show you I usually travel with these big suckers, which they're also on my channel. These are the Trousses 28s. They're the massive ones. One of them, I have all my makeup. I have my perfume. I have all that stuff. And they fit so nicely in here. And the other one has all my toiletry stuff. I'm going to Aruba. I might need lotion, aloe, hairspray, whatever you name it, shampoo. Because, of course, I don't like to use the shampoo from the hotel. I use a specific Kevin Murphy shampoo that I really love for my hair and I'm taking that in here because I plan on washing my hair every day. So that fits right in here. Let's see if I can move it back a little because I want you to see how that fits. There you go. So now you can see you have both of these. This bag here, I have little feet, so I guess that's the, 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 you know, one of the benefits and advantages for me. But this bag here, I was able to find this like at a TJ Maxx. All it is is like a bag for your shoes. And I, see, I don't like my shoes rolling around in my bag. So I can put that right in here and you can see that it fits. So I have a little space here and then that space is where I can put stuff like if I have anything extra, like I have this little pouch that I plan on using when I, if I'm doing like a run or something, it's just like a fanny pack from Maritzia. So I can even put that in the bottom here and things like that. You know, I do have these like water shoes that I might be taking, which I can adjust in here depending on where they're going to fit. But that's really all that I really need to put in here. I mean, everything is really in here. I have these pockets here so I can put some socks in here and things like that. But as you can see, I'm traveling with the carry on and I don't carry, I never check in bags and I'm, I can go on a 10 day trip to Europe and I can fit everything in here. I think a lot of it what's really helped me has been these packing cubes, but I am going to be sharing those packing cubes with you guys because I think they're amazing. Amazon sells a ton of them. I can't really vouch for any other specific brand because this is the brand that I chose and they fit perfect in here and I love them. I'm assuming that a lot of those packing cubes are very similar. I just don't know. So I will attach that for you guys in case you're thinking about going on a vacation. But I hope that what I shared with you was helpful. Um, but that's really all I have for you guys. Okay, well, that's all I have for you guys. I hope that this was a little bit helpful. But again, the big the big thing that I wanted to show you was more the packing cubes. I think they're pretty amazing. They are from a company called Mark and Graham, I believe. Let me make sure because I think it's called Mark and Graham. And Mark and Graham are a really, really good company. That's where I got these. So that is the, it's called Mark and Graham. There, that's where I got the packing cubes. I'm actually thinking about buying a suitcase from them, which is going to be an expandable carry on again, because that's what I like to use. So I, hopefully I'll do another video for you guys on that luggage. You can see what it looks like, but that's where the packing cubes came from. So I'd love to hear what you guys thought about my video. If there was anything else that you could add as a tip that, you know, something that you do, normally do when you, when you travel. I know a lot of people roll their clothes and things like that. I used to do that, but when I would unpack all that, it was just like a nightmare. Like everything was rolled up and it was just a mess. Now these cubes are really cool because I can just pull it out and know exactly what's in it and it kind of stays contained. So I would love to hear from you guys. Thank you so much for visiting and I will see you next time.